Hey Ross World, my money makes money. Fast money, really fast money. People in the comic section, my subscribers, viewers, all alike, okay? Every now and again, someone pops the question about fast money. How do I make fast money? Well, I know how my family used to make fast money. That is not the way to go, even though it was pretty fast. Not the way to go, shorter lifespan, whether it be in the box or behind bars. Okay, but anyway, fast money. And I really thought about it, okay? Now, if you are a day trader, this is once again not the channel for you because day traders make what? Very fast money. But let me tell you something. If you are a passive investor like myself, you are making fast money as well. You are making money every day. Well, not every day because sometimes the stock market goes up and down and up and down. And that's quite understandable depending on how companies perform. Sometimes people project their margins to be a certain amount and they don't reach those earnings. And then investors get weary and then they sell the stock, okay, while very few of them buy it. That kind of controls the stock price in some areas on that. But listen, if you want fast money, it's already happening if you are investing. It's already happening if you are saving. Because every day that you're saving in a high yield interest count, you are accumulating money, okay? If you are investing and you have some of your stocks, you're well diversified, world market, okay? Remember all those countries, I gave that video, all those countries that have stock markets, you can invest in those as well. And index funds, okay? Most index funds has dividends. So every quarter, every three or four months, you are making money. When you talk about fast money, I don't know what you're talking about, okay? Because I am getting fast money, okay? Not as fast and not as much as other people, but the more you do something, the more the reward, okay? Is investing risky? Very little risk compared to gambling, and I will shortly come out with an, a video, is investing gambling. Those are two different because gambling deals with a zero-sum game. It's a zero-sum game, okay? Everybody's a loser in the end. But this is the thing. When you're talking about fast money, there are so many ways. And I've been giving you the keys, okay? I've been giving you the ways. I've been giving you the methods to get fast money. Now, I did a video about credit card bonuses. Even though we say fluff credit cards, but you can still use them for all the rewards that they offer. This is fast money. If you use your credit card every month and you pay it off and you're accumulating fl uh, frequent flyer miles and you're accumulating cash back, you're accumulating gas points, whatever it may be, those rewards in your card, as long as you're not paying the interest, as long as you ain't paying them jokers no money, this is fast money because in the end, if they're giving you cash back and you're paying it before they can apply the interest, they're not getting paid. You are. Now, unless that car has some sort of yearly APR or some sort of underlying print that you didn't read, which we always have to read the what? Fine print. You are making fast money every single day. This is what I want you to do. If you really, really want to make fast money, let's go back to the four tiers of money. First and foremost, if you have any debt, any debt of any kind, get rid of it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Get out of debt. We either be a house debt, because we always say, I know I always say that house debt is managed debt because it builds equity, and then your house becomes more than the debt that you occurred when you bought the home. Okay, but if you truly want fast money, get out of debt, pay off your home. Number two, go over your budget. See how much money you really have. See how much money you really spend. See where your money goes. See what you put your money into. See how you spend your money. Then savings. This is the big one, guys. This is the big one. This is the hugest one. Some of you are still loyal to these damn banks. Do not be loyal to any of these damn banks. Put your savings amount. Put your savings that you're just keeping, that you're just piling up for your retirement or for a rainy day or for a trip 
anything that you are trying to accumulate to do that is going to take time, move that money into a high yield savings account. And I have about two or three videos on my channel. Unfortunately, I do quite a few videos. So just scroll down and you'll find one and it will point you in the right direction. Okay. High yield savings. You are losing money if your money is not in high yield savings. Oh, I'm with Bank of America. I'm with Wells Fargo. I'm with, they ain't doing nothing for you. You got you have all these stipulations. You have all these guidelines. You have all these restrictions about what you need to do in order to have a checking account and what you need to do in order to have a savings account. Really? So I'm going to give you my money to hold and save and you're not going to give me nothing back, but you're investing my money to make your bank more money. Think on that. Then investing. If you're not investing your money, then your money really ain't making no money at all. Okay. You can go and have fun with your money, but it starts getting out of debt and it starts looking at your budget. You have to understand what the hell you're doing with your money. If you really want fast money, take heed. Okay, listen. Just don't hear it. Listen to what I'm saying. Reevaluate your financial life. Reevaluate the way you look at finances and do something about it. This is Ross World where, you know, I looked at my subscribers. I looked at how many people I have. I like... I look at all these other channels, right? You go, you look at my channel, you hit my channels. I'm subscribed to all these other channels and these people have, you know, 50, 30,000, 100, some thousand, even millions of subscribers. And I'm just like, am I really in it for the subscribers or I'm really in it for the people? But I think that because the way I present the information, I want more subscribers. I want to help. I want to assist. I want to support more people in their financial struggles. And I'm not mad that comedy channels have more subscribers than I do. I'm not mad. But I think about the way things are, how people are struggling, how people are not doing so well. Then I think about comedy channels. I think about channels with entertainment. And I'm like, do they know that everything that they're doing, everything that you subscribe to on YouTube or Facebook is all ran by money? And instead of saving and investing and getting out of debt with your money, you're wasting your time not learning about money. This is Ross World where I'm slightly confused, but I do understand that certain channels of entertainment takes us out of our place of impoverish. It takes us out of our place of poverty. It takes us out of our place of being broke and lifts us to a higher existence of happiness. But did you know that happiness only exists because something happens? I want you to think about that. But joy lasts forever. And if you don't have joy in your life, now I want you to understand what joy is. Joy is this. If you sit in a dark room and you're still happy, because at the end of the day, when you turn that damn light on, you look in your bank account and you just smile. You're like, <laughs> yeah, dog, I'm doing the right damn thing. Yeah. But when you happy because you watched a video, if you happy because you watched a song, but after that song, you go back to being depressed. Now, I want you to think about what you actually subscribe to. This is Ross World again. My money makes money. And I sure want your money to make money for you. I'm out.